I'll call you back. Thanks. Jerry, Joe Davola. I have a hair on my tongue. Can't get it off. You know how much I hate that? Oh, of course you do. You put it there. I know what you said about me, Seinfeld. I know you badmouthed me to the execs at NBC. Put the kibosh on my deal. Now I'm going to put the kibosh on you. You know I've kiboshed before. And I will kibosh again. So, what do you think? About what? About the opera. Nah, I don't want to go. You got to go. I, I don't like the opera. What are they singing for? Who sings? You got something to say? Say it. Jerry, you don't understand. That's the way they talk in Italy. They sing to one another. All right, all right. No, no, that's the way it was, you know? I mean, you listen to the language. It's got that sing-songy quality to it. It's the language, Jerry. The language. So why don't they talk like that now? Well, it's, uh, well, it's too hard to uh, keep up. You know, they got... They were tired. <laughs> Better get that. Yeah. Me. Come on up. So, huh? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on, Jerry. It's opening night. Black tie, Baliachi, the great clown, the great sad, tragic clown like you. <laughs> well, that's very flattering. How'd you get these tickets? I heard they're impossible to get. Oh, well, I have many associates. <laughs> I don't know, Opera. It's not my kind of thing. All right, you're not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm going to call the whole thing off. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's no. not fair. What about George, Susan, and Elaine? What do you need me for? You're the nucleus, the straw that stirs the drink. You're the Mayana. Well, I guess if I'm the Mayana, yeah. I should go. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Hi. Hey, hi, hi, Elaine. You got the tickets, right? Oh, no, I don't have them on me. What? That's why I came all the way over here. Yeah, well, my friend's got them. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow. Oh, I was going to surprise Joey with them. You got an extra one, right? Oh, yeah. So, I finally get to meet your pal, Joey. It's killing you, isn't it? Yeah. So, Joey's a great lover of the opera. Listen. I got news for you. It's nice to be involved with somebody who's interested in something other than Nick at night. <laughs> you know, he's got a grip on reality. He's, he's, he's happy, he's well-adjusted. <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. I gotta go. Where are you going? What's the rush? I'm gonna surprise Joey. I've never been to his apartment, so I'm just gonna pop in. Oh, good. Men love that. Hey. Hey, a message, buddy. Ooh, could be from that blonde. Oh, you get it, get it, <laughs> Craig, what am I gonna do? Do you hear that? That guy's gonna put a kibosh on me. He's crazy. He's out of his mind. He's so out of his mind. Calm yourself. Come on, get a hold of yourself. What are you supposed to be on medication? I don't understand. He told me he's getting medication. What up? He's medication. Oh, quiet, quiet. Now let me think. I'm gonna call the cops. That's what I'm doing. I'm calling the cops. The cops? What are you calling the cops for? They're not gonna do anything. What do you mean they're not gonna do anything? They're the cops. They gotta do something. You should put the kibosh on me. You know what a kibosh is? It's gonna be kibosh. <laughs> I mean, it's a terrible mistake. I mean, he thinks I ruined some deal of his at NBC. I don't know anything about any deal at NBC. Call him and tell him that. Come on, yeah, don't. That's what I'm doing. I'll just call him and tell him. I'll tell him. That's all I'll do. Right. He's a human being. Yeah. I'll talk to him. He'll understand, right? Yeah. Don't mention my name. Oh, I got the machine. What's his message like? Nice. Yeah. Hello, jo Joe. Listen, this is Jerry Seinfeld. I, I really think there's been a, 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 a huge, colossal misunderstanding. Big, big. And, and I feel that if we could just talk about this, we could straighten the whole thing out. So, so call me back. Bye.